Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lachlan here, back with a brand episode of the Pixelmon Gotta Catch Em All series. This time starting off our episode today inside the Ice Plains biome where we started off our hunt for the Articuno Shrine, which we actually did find a couple episodes back, but now we have to re-find it. I've, uh, I've had to bring up that program again to bring me back into this Ice Biome place. Um, I can see all of these Poke Centers that we spawned in, uh in that last episode with that structure command and uh, now we're gonna go on the hunt and try to find Articuno and then capture him once and for all therefore leaving Zapdos the last Pokemon for us to catch I hope you guys are excited for this episode if you guys are if you want to see Articuno and you're really really excited just please leave a like rating below because he is a very sexy Pokemon and uh, yeah so first things first I've uh, set up a little bit of a waypoint here just in case I forget for the Glaceon Rock later on in the series when we get that Eevee we also have the Leafeon tag somewhere um, that's Extreme Hills um, forest. I think that forest is for, yeah, I, th I think, oh, that could be for Stantler when I was going for Stantler. I'm not too sure. I thought I left one for Eevee in there somewhere. It might be in there. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Leafeon. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we need to find the shrine. We have everything ready. And, of course, if you guys did miss the last episode, I highly suggest checking that one out. There's a magic cup over there. Because we found these, well, we found this guy, which was big. Like, that was just like, whoa, what is going on? And then we did our shiny sacrifice with the Ru... God, I keep getting his name wrong. Riolu. Riolu. Yeah, there we go. Riolu. Uh, Ri yeah, Riolu. Like, damn, I just can't wait to get Lucario so I don't have to call him that anymore. Because every episode I'm like, I'm saying it wrong or something. But, uh, so two shinies in one episode was an epic episode. Highly suggest going back there and checking that out. Was a very good installment. But, uh, yeah guys, today marks a very special day. Getting almost all 151, and we just need to get the Zapdos after today. We have a Master Ball, so as soon as we find the Shrine, we can just shove the uh, the Orb in there. That'll spawn us our Articuno, but look at these last remaining ones. Zapdos right in the middle there, 145. He will be the last remaining Pokemon, so of course today we'll get our Orb ready for the uh, collection of souls for the... Uh, I, th I don't know what the Orb's called for that one. I think it's called the Orb of... Uh, something lightning i'm not too sure but uh let's go find this little uh shrine somewhere in here he was there he is there he is wasn't too far away at all um very very easy uh, we have master ball on us yes we do and this will be a very easy catch just like a uh, moltres um i think we'll swap moltres over can i just say this whole time we've had moltres he's been like you know being used as a pokemon to like fight battles he's not once gained a level that's crazy. I think we'll swap, yeah, Moltres over for Articuno. Um, just swap it up a little bit, I guess. But uh, have a look at this. The Shrine of Articuno. Bang! There goes the orb. There's Articuno. And there is my Master Ball on Articuno. And just like that, we are one more Legendary down. Only one Legend... No, two Legendaries remaining. Kyogre and Zapdos. And that's it in this so far. I think that's it, yeah, so far for this update. Um, yeah, definitely making some mad progress, and, uh, yeah, just like that. I feel like I should take these shrines with us home, but I feel like if I break them, then, it, yeah, if they break them, we won't get them back, so I don't think I'll do that, actually, <laughs> because then we won't get them back. I have to transport it. I wish I had the gravity gun. I could transport it back to our house, but, uh, I'm just trying to think, is there anything we want in this biome? Um, I'm, ooh, the Magnemite, no. Um, we might, should maybe try and go for a Magby this episode as well. We also want to try and get some XP on Trapinch and Riolu. Um, I don't want to evolve in this episode though. Um, but, uh, like I said, and a lot of people are like, come on, please keep Riolu in the party. And don't worry guys, Riolu's here to stay. I'm not, I, well, Lucario, when he evolves, he's going to be staying here for sure. Oh, Celio, that is something different. Um, we'll go Riolu for this one. Get him some nice happiness. Oh, come on, that's not happiness. That is sadness. Nothing but sadness. All right, let's get back into it. I hate it when it does that. It's just like the biggest buzzkill. And then the, the Pokemon despawn that I was going to kill. So it's like, oh, sick. Uh, let me see if I can find another one cheeky over here. But I don't think we can. Is that a Celio? That's a Celio. Oh, there's one. Okay. Um, Riolu, go. Oh, wow. That, that shot, though. The other one was level 40-something, though. We'll go over that beach and just try to train up on them all, I guess. Um, we're going to swap over this guy for the Articuno, though, as well. I, I don't think I'll swap him. Oh, they dropped snowballs. That's crazy. And fish. That's nuts. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll swap him over if Articuno doesn't have any moves. Um, in Pixelmon Island, Articuno was known for having very bad moves all the time. Except the one I got. Uh, I think Vic Star Really? Is it something with Celio? I think it's something with Celio that's just like, no, nah, I'm not having this. I'm a crash attack. Like, that's twice Celio has made us crash. And, uh, yeah, let's see if it actually... Imagine if it corrupted our world. 
Ooh, I will cry. It doesn't normally take this long to load. All right, guys, I think we're going to have to take a break. It looks like my Minecraft has crashed. I'll be back in a second. Okay, there, guys, we are back. Let's see if Celio will let us crash this time. They still, they're still spawning out in the wild, which is nice. Uh, we haven't missed the daytime for these guys. They're nice XP, not too bad. Um, in the mid 40s, not yeah, it's pretty good XP. Not gonna lie. Um, I wonder if we could find a shiny Mareep here. There's a lot of Mareeps walking about. Honestly, scared to find another shiny at this point. Um, look at me throwing all these stuff. I just snowballed a Mareep. What are you gonna do about it, guy? What are you gonna do about it? Here, have some ice. Have some ice. I'm trying to keep my keen eye though for another shiny because that would be nuts if we could get another shiny today. We could go for the hat trick once again. But I think that will be it for the ice biome. We'll probably head back home, swap over Articuno, and uh, get good old that uh, that orb ready. So let's go kill ourselves. Oh, in before we don't have a thunderstone. That could really suck. Um, all right, allow cheats. Start, kill myself. I think it might take me back to yes. It takes me back here, which sucks because I want to go back to my house. That is a boss kingler, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> like, look at that. Just a boss kingler. Oh, and there is the uh, the Magby spawn biome, which maybe might give us a Magby one day this year. I don't know. It's the only Pokemon we need. If Breen was in here, I wouldn't have to go look for it, but it's not, so we got to look for it. Um, oh, he's trying to go to the guillotines. You're a cheeky one. You are a cheeky one. What is this? What is that? You missed a psychic. Redding itself. Ah, uh, he's dodging moves. You are cheeky. No dodging moves. Ugh. Damn it, and now the one time I do it, I do miss. Alright, there we go. Really, Oh, that might be enough to evolve him, honestly. That might be enough to evolve the really. Oh, and did he evolve? No. Oh, what is he on? He must be close. That was a lot of levels. 169. He's still got a fair way left. Um, so max revive. I didn't check what the other loot was, but I didn't think it was that great. Look, it's a chicken! And it's a dead chicken. <laughs> it's a chicken. It's a dead chicken. Um, and then I think, yeah, I know more tra uh, Trap Inch evolves at level 30. So we got time on that guy. Um, we could probably do a little bit of XP trading on him. Could be 25. No, I remember if I were evolving at 30 on one of my old series ages ago. So yeah, we'll leave him at 30 right now. And uh, yeah, okay, let's just bob and weave and get back home, I guess. Um, a little cheeky mudkip, you know, the, the hunt for mudkip is going to be so real later on in this series. I honestly feel like it's a stream hunt. Like that and Magby is just going to have to be streamed because these guys just don't want to play ball. And I want to, because after this orb, there's no more goals of like, because like the orbs are like a background goal that you do while you're trying to complete other goals. Without the orbs, I'm literally just going to be there to try and get my, my mudkips and my magbies. And that's it. And if we don't fa if we don't get a Magby, we fail because we don't we're not achieving other things in our series like trying to get the orb charges because that's gonna be done really soon. And uh, yeah, but we still need to catch Kyogre though. That's another one. Look at the drowsies. Are they bothering you, Pikachu? Are these drowsies bothering you? And that Magikarp. Ugh. I don't know if I like this, guys. I don't know if I like this one bit. <laughs> he just made the weirdest noise out as well. All right, so let's uh, swap out Moltres, I guess. Let's grab the lucky egg off him. Let's find the good old Articunos, swap him over, and let's get our, I think it's Static Souls. Yeah, that makes sense. I think we have a full orb in here somewhere. That's already, yep, there it is. Orb of Static Souls. Uh, let's put these bad boys away. Uh, we can probably sell those Thunderstones now because we don't need them. And now uh, we got the TNT. Yep, all good. We got Luxury Ball as well, which could be a nice stylish catch for the Magby, if we go and get him, that is. So let's throw these away, grab two gold coins, and that's that. And, oh, we need to start making some coins for another Master Ball if we want to get that uh, that Zapdos or Kyogre. And I would hate seeing a Kyogre without having what, like, needed to be. So, uh, how much is a... Yep, it's worth that. So, I'm going to sell my diamonds. Um, okay, let's go grab some of my items so I can get some coins and buy a Master Ball. Because we really need a Master Ball uh, in the future for those legendaries. Um, let's see. That's a gold coin. Um... That's a gold coin. No, it's not really a gold coin. I'll just take this and that. And that should be it. Oh, we need Stone Edge. Just a nice TM. And, oh, these are gold coins. And back off we go to try and get some gold coins. That's how it works. That's how it works around here. All right. So, here we go. This should be enough. That's three, four. And that's four gold coins. Five gold coins. And that's five. There we go. We don't even have to sell the diamonds. So I'll keep them if I need them for something else later. Thanks for the Master Ball, Preston. 
and uh, oh hello Preston and uh, off we go on our adventures again I wonder if we should go for the dusk Kyogre I don't know we haven't really looked for him for ages because he was the biggest jag and I don't think we could do two legendaries in one episode that's too much that is too much right there oh there's a gloom outside I might get some XP on him um, with my trap. Whoa, 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 intruder, intruder. Whoa, 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 Gabriel, he's going up in my house, man. What the hell? Oh, wow, it's a cute little gloom. Hmm, cute little gloom. I wanted to verse you with, uh, trap inch, so I'm going to do that right now. Don't kill him, good. Articuna, let's see what moves you got, buddy. Powder snow is your only good, uh, uh, good attacks, buddy. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't want to let you go because I said I'd... Uh, I'll see how your writing animations is and if it's not good then Moltres is coming back in because I don't know about you Articuno that's not the greatest moves uh, if I get ice beam from a TM somewhere I'll put it on you but we don't have it anywhere in here now is that guy upstairs in my room still nah he backed off good don't like people in my bed <laughs> not the biggest fans can say um, all right so we'll go to sleep wake up and then we'll go for the Magby hunt of 2014 this guy right here first time riding the Articuno you know, he does block a little bit more than the uh, the Moltres, I'm not gonna lie. I just realized we have both of our Pixamon Island team uh, things right there. We actually have all of the members of... Actually, we don't have all Corona because of that cheeky thing that happened. I'm gonna go grab Larvesta out and start training him up again as well. Um, I forgot we don't have all Corona. That was a little bit of awakening last episode. I think it might as well be good to just uh, train up uh, Volcarona instead of actually catching him because he was really such a jagged catch. Because he is pseudo-legendary, so he is hard to get in that Pokeball. Now, we did catch a Larvesta early on and start trying to train him. Uh, I'll swap out... Um, I'll swap out... I'll swap out Riolu for this stage because we don't really need him to train him up that much. Look at that cool Luxury Ball that Larvesta's in, by the way. He's in a snazzy Luxury Ball. Oh, baby, that looks sick. Looks awesome in the menu. All right, so we'll take him out and go on a little bit of a training run with him. Uh... And I'll put that on and good to go. Because we don't want to get... We'll get a little bit on Trap Inch as well, I suppose. Um, but we need to get to that Desert Biome quick and pronto for some training of the Static Souls. And that's another thing we need to do. We need to start getting on that Savannah Biome hunt. So as you guys know, we're going to go to a Savannah Biome in the near future. We're going to go in there. And if we, we're going to first give it a rundown if it doesn't have a shrine. Then we're going to do the slash structure command. At every time I do it, it costs 10 gold coins. And that's like the little recipe we invented uh, a couple episodes ago, just to make the process that much easier. And guys, I don't know what to do with that claw fossil, but he's just going to be the biggest jag when we try to get him on the team. Oh my god, because we'd ha we I'd probably have to go deep fossil hunting, um, <laughs> and that's not going to be too fun. Uh, or I could try and chance what we have left and try to get that last one. He's just going to be the worst to try and get. I'm not looking forward to that at all. Um, let's just go right into the, the biome we need to go into, the desert one. It's over here somewhere. I believe it's off the left in this direction, and we should be good. Um, so we haven't... Uh, yeah, no, we have made progress today. I'm just trying to evaluate every episode as we go. Um, we did... Oh, there's a Raichu in there. Hello. Uh, yep, so we got the Articuno, obviously. Um, but I think apart from that, that's pretty much it. Look at that Golding trying to climb a waterfall. That's hilarious. Um, he's not getting anywhere. This is a Savannah Biome, though. So this is where you can indeed get a shrine of sorts from the uh, thingamabobber. But we don't have 10 gold coins. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually... Nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. Um, let's just go straight into the desert. Bind. That looks like a temple. Looks like a temple. But I don't think it is. Um, we need to try and chance a Magby. Look, you know, I wouldn't... Is that a Red Boss Magma? That is... is that... Oh, if that's a shiny one. Because that's what shinies look like. That would... No, he's bigger. He's bigger than the rest. He's bigger than the other one. It's a Red Boss. They like talking to each other, don't these guys? Oh, come on now. I just want to go to talk to the boss one. I don't care about you. I want the boss one. It is a boss though, right? Nah, shiny has a different different red. It's not shiny. It nearly was. So imagine that. That would have just been too good. I, <laughs> That would have been too good. Alright, so let's go Larvesta on this obviously boss magma. If I can hit the guy. Jeez. Alright, there we go. 104. Boo. Baby. What he just hit me with? Whole, he's going to kill Mewtwo. Uh-oh, it's literally Articuno or we've lost a boss here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow, Articuno. Thank God you came through there. Okay, let's see what we get. Timer Ball, Dubious Disc. Needed that a while ago. Don't need it anymore. Shell Bell and a Power Belt. Lots of uh, gold coins. Uh, nothing too 
uh, important there. But Mewtwo is dead, which sucks. Um, so now we go back onto the Magby hunt. <laughs> the Magby hunt that doesn't happen ever. I can't find Magby ever. I think I honestly might get to the stage where I might just spawn him in. Not being a Jag, but like this guy, yeah, fair enough if you're rare. But like when I spend a considerable amount of time, like I'm, I don't... I feel like I'm owed a Magby spawn. I feel like I'm going to forget him as soon as I see him as well. Like, I'm going to just go past him and be like, yeah, you know, like, I've just seen a thousand Mag Like, <laughs> why should he be rarer than Magma? Like, I don't get it. He's the he's the, the, the worst version of a Magma. Um, now his Flygon's come out. When the Vibravas come out, it's when it goes into Dusk period. So that one, that's when we've missed out on the, uh, the Magbys. But, uh... For the time being, we might have to look into other biomes of desert. I just don't know. The Magby's just a big Jags. All right, we got some Pokalutes, Pokalutus over here. The Eevees are a big one as well. They're going to be a big Jag. Trying to find them soon. Okay, where are we dinging to? This is a mad range. All right, there we go. What do we get? Gold coin? Good, I need gold coins. I need gold coins right now, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I wonder if we should get a little bit of a scan in there and try and get an Eevee. Because Eevee is progress. I haven't seen them since the latest update. Like, the forest biome used to have so many of them. And now when I go to a forest, all I find is these... The same bug Pokemon. Let's see what happens. This is a flat forest biome, I believe. Yep. Flat forest. What do we find in flat forest these days? Um, let's see. Let's get off. I, I see Pikachus. I see... Um, it was a Venusaur in that last episode. Yeah, which was pretty crazy. But nothing too, you know, important that we need. I'm trying to look through... Doesn't seem to be much. That's a Pokemon down there. What is it? No, that's a birch. It doesn't seem like we're getting anything in the forest these days. Oh, there, yeah, yeah. Kadabra, Abra. Lots of those guys. Um, they're the main ones, actually. Yeah, lots of Kadabra, Abras. So not rare anymore. You see them all the time. And it's hard to see Pokemon in general because, like, the, all the trees blocking your vision. It's very hard to spot out what you want. There's Dudrios. Doesn't seem. Yep. Yeah, no, that's weird. That is freaky. And then, of course, there's Torchic we're going to find at one stage as well, which is going to kill us trying to find that guy. Um, so I'm not sure that we should go for this little bit of a hunt uh, on Magby. I, I want to ask you guys, how do you feel on the whole spawning Magby side of things? I mean, I just want... If, if anybody can tweet me, like, them finding him or something, just to, like, show that he spawns. I don't want to, like, uh, go on a wild goose chase for something that doesn't spawn. I mean, like, there's been times where... Things have spawned, uh, have said to be spawned, and then they don't spawn, e.g. legendaries back in the day. The birds used to, everyone was like, oh my god, they, they, they spawned, and they didn't spawn, you had to enable them, because uh, there was like a new mode that wasn't done, didn't switch it over to something. I don't know, I, I remember it all, but you guys won't make too much sense of it. Um, so, yeah, that, that, uh, uh, I get mixed up with my words. Um, you spawned back in the day, it was just the birds. Um, oh, oh, oh! Oh, well, hi there. Well, hi there, Magby. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks, Magby. You've made my day very good, haven't you? All right, Pokeball, Pokeball. And don't worry about spawning Magby because we just sort of wrecked that one. <laughs> Found him level two, very, very low level. Um, very rare indeed. Um, and, uh, just in time for dusk, I think. What's the bet now? We'll see all the Magbies in the world. All the Magbies, all the Stance Begants. We never grabbed him out of the PC as well, I just remembered. Alright, let's kill ourselves, go back to house. So, how's that? In this episode, we got two Pokemon down. Um, next after this whole Legendary Wave thing, and of course Lucario eventually, and Lavesta, we definitely have to look into getting a Crobat. And, I think, I'm gonna quickly check here because, um, it's very, very important that I do. I want to check uh, how many we actually have left in the Johto decks because I believe it's just Crobat at this stage. So let's check here. So we've got the first nine, Ledibar. Yep, Ledian. Yep, Crobat is the one I was talking about. Chinchou, Lantern. Yep, Pichu, Iglybuff. Yep, the Mareepline. Yep, Belossum. Yep, um, Politoed. Yep, Politoed is another one. And I do believe we have a King's Rock, but we can do that. Um, Yanma, and then, yeah, Espeon and Realm, we have those. Wobbuffet, Giraffery, Gligar, Scizor, Swiner, Piloswine, Porygon 2, Stantler, Elekid, Magby, Miltank, 
and a red boss Pidgeotto. Like, I wasn't even looking at the screen that I nearly missed him. How big is this guy? He's huge. All right, let's... And this is the one where Articuno will come in handy. This, he's got to be a, an enormous one. He is just freaking massive. And look how weak... I'm going to... Sorry, but we're going to have to swap Articuno back in. He's got no ice beams. He's got no nothing. He is weak source. All right, and... Oh, that would have been so good if we got a King's Rock. That would have been the best timing ever. Um, but uh, we, can, we can, of course, buy King's Rock from over the, um, in the store. But I'm not sure if we want to buy this at this stage just because... Um, it is 15 gold coins, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of money. Uh, and that also just reminded me that we do need to try and get a Pilo Swine with Ancient Power at one stage for the um, for the Mammo Swine in the near future as well. So that's something we got to keep our minds on. But uh, anyways, guys, I think we're going to wrap this episode up right there. I hope you guys did enjoy this awesome, legendary, special episode. And we even got a cheeky Magmi to, to top it all off with a little Zubat at the end as well. So of course, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like rating below. It's always great to have your support and be sure to be subscribed for later uploads to the channel. See you guys then.